Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we went over um, how to draw simple shapes um, in one point perspective here. So we went over a couple different shapes. Um, I was trying to figure out how to flip or reverse this recording. Um, I can't figure it out. So my sheet is backwards, the mirrored image of yours, um, but still follow along here. It's the same exact steps, all right? Um, we'll start with the square up here. Um, what we need to do first is label our vanishing points. So this one here is our vanishing point. I'm gonna put a V and then a P just so I know it's my vanishing point. And then I'm gonna label this line here. Remember that this is the horizon line. I'm gonna label it horizon. Sorry, it's backwards from yours. Okay, now what we need to do um, is take our shapes from 2D and make them into 3D forms, okay? Uh, let's start with the square up here. First thing I'm gonna suggest is always to use um, the corner closest to your vanishing point, okay? So I would say this outside corner here is the one that's closest to my vanishing point. So I'm gonna take uh, my ruler here. I'm gonna line it up to that corner of my square. And I'm gonna line it up to the center of my vanishing point, just like so. So now they're lined up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line there, a converging line. I'm gonna do the same thing now. I'll bring this down a little bit. Um, you could go with either one of these corners here. I would say they're equal distance from our vanishing point. I'm gonna go from this bottom corner, lining that corner of my ruler up to the corner of my square, down to the vanishing point. I'm gonna draw a converging line, just like so. Now I'm gonna go up to this top corner of my square lining my ruler up here to that corner and to my vanishing point. I'm just gonna draw another converging line. I have one more corner on my square. You'll see here when I line it up to that corner and to my vanishing point, it's gonna cut through the center of my square, right? If I draw that line. Um, so we don't need to add it because technically it would be going underneath the square, right? This is the back corner, it would be going underneath. This is kind of like the flat area that's facing towards us. Um, and then we're drawing these sides here into perspective, okay? Next here, all I need to do um, is add parallel lines to kind of create that cube form. So we're gonna take this side of my square, line my ruler up to it. I'm just gonna pull it out straight out from it um, to create a parallel line. You can choose the width right here. You can make it skinnier if you want. Have it a small width. You can make it larger if you want. Have it a larger width here, making it a bigger box. I'm gonna bring mine in a little bit. Just make sure you're pulling it straight out from this side here so that way it is parallel. We want it to match or mimic that line. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it in there. Keep it between your two converging lines here, right? We don't need the side to come up here or down below because we're going to draw the bottom down here. Just in here. So now we have the side of our cube. Now we need to make the bottom of it, right? So I'm going to line my ruler back up underneath that square. I'm pulling it straight out and away. We want to make a corner here where we just drew that uh, parallel line. So I'm going to stop it right about there so that way it lines up where I stopped my first parallel line. I'm gonna go ahead and draw another parallel line here. That way I have this nice corner here um, and they're about the same width. So now we have a cube, right? Uh, we used our converging lines and some parallel horizontal and vertical lines to create that perspective. We can get rid of any of these um, converging lines past these parallel ones, right? So we don't need any of this extra junk down here anymore. So now we have our cube. So you can go ahead and erase that. Get it on out of here. So we're just left with a cube here. 
I'm going to move on to the circle here. So you'll notice um, I told you to start with the corners over here that are closest to our vanishing points. Um, our circle does not have any corners. It's all rounded edges. So what we're going to do um, is kind of create edges, right? So we're going to use the outsides of our circle um, as our corners here. So I'm going to line my ruler up to the vanishing point and to the edge of my circle here, just like so. Lined it here and up here. I'm going to draw that converging line. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to use the edge as a corner. So I'm going to line it up to that vanishing point and to the edge of my circle. And draw that down. So we should have two um, converging lines coming from the outer edge of our circle here. Clean up some of this extra junk that I don't need. And now all we need to do is draw a parallel line. We can't use our ruler for it, right? Because this is not a straight edge. We just need to do our best to kind of mimic the edge of the circle here. I'm going to bring it and wrap it around like so. It might take you a couple tries. You can see I've kind of messed up here a little bit. Um, you may have to angle it up a little bit more at the bottom, um, but get it pretty close here. So now we have a cylinder. And again, we can get rid of any of these extra converging lines because now we just have our cylinder, right? That's all we need. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to those. Moving down here, um, we'll go ahead and go to the center uh, pentagon. And again, we want to start uh, with the corner or the edge that is closest to our vanishing point. So I would say this corner is closest to our vanishing point here. I'm going to line my ruler up the corner of that pentagon um, to my vanishing point here. I'm going to draw a converging line. I'm not going to take my line all the way up anymore. Um, you still can if you want to. You just have to go back in and erase. I just know I'm going to stop mine um, roughly right here, so I'm going to leave it there. You could always go up a little bit extra if you need to. Now, looking at the side corners here, these top corners, um, we could go either way. Both are probably the same distance from our vanishing point. So pick which one you want to do first. Line the corner of your ruler up to the corner here of our pentagon and line your ruler up to our vanishing point up here. I'm going to go ahead and draw that converging line again. I'm not going to take mine all the way up anymore. Feel free to do that, though, if you need to. And go to the other side here, lining my ruler up to the corner and to my vanishing point. Draw my converging line. If we check these two bottom corners, we'll notice, right, um, this line would go underneath or through our shape, right? It's like the bottom line. So we don't need to include it. Same thing over here. Um, it would be going through or underneath that shape. So we do not need it. So now we're going to make our parallel lines. I'm lining my ruler up the straight edge of my pentagon here. Taking it out straight away. Drawing that parallel in between my converging lines there. I'm going to flip it and do the same thing on the other side here. Line it up. Pull it straight away and draw that parallel. So I still have a little bit extra that I need to erase, which is OK. There we have our pentagon. We'll go ahead and do this one, too, really quick. Um, you could pick between kind of this front house uh, like roof corner if you wanted to. Or this one's also pretty close to our vanishing point. Either one you start with will probably be okay. I'm going to start with the top of my sideways house here. Lining my ruler up to the corner of that roof <laughs> of my pentagon. And to my vanishing point. And draw my converging line. Remember, you can take it all the way up if you want to. I'm just not doing that because I don't want to have to erase all this extra later. So I'm stopping it. 
I always like to have a little bit of extra like I did over here, um, just so I know things will kind of line up. Now I'm going to go to this corner of my house, my pentagon, lining my ruler up to that corner into the vanishing point. I'm going to draw another converging line, taking it to that back corner, lining it up to the corner of that, into the corner, or well, not to the corner, to my vanishing point. Join that converging line. We can check both of these bottom corners here. If I line my ruler up to that and to the vanishing point. You can see that it will kind of just barely cut through um, this pentagon shape, so it's going underneath of it, so I do not need it, right? Same thing with this back corner here. If I line my ruler up to the corner and to my vanishing point, um, we can see that it's going through this pentagon, so it would be going underneath, so I don't need it either. Now all we need to do is draw our parallels here, lining my ruler up to the straight edge. I'm going to pull it straight out, draw that parallel. I want to make a corner here when I am drawing the parallel up here. So I'm going to line my ruler up, pull it straight out, right about stopping it here. Um, so that way I can create a corner. I'm going to go ahead and draw that parallel. Again, I have some extra. At least I don't have to erase a bunch of stuff over here. A little bit less that I have to erase. Get it on out of there. Okay. Last one here, um, our star has lots of corners and points that we need to check, right? Um, so let's start either with this top one um, or this arm here that's a little bit closer to our vanishing point. Let's go ahead and do the top one. Lining my ruler up there to the top point of my star and to the middle of my vanishing point. Oops, just slipped my paper. Draw a converging line. I'm going to start working my way down. I'm going to go to this like middle um, top corner. Lining my ruler up to that corner into the vanishing point. Drawing a converging line. I'm going to go down to my arm here. That's closest to my vanishing point. Line it up. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Draw that. Converging line. I'm going to go ahead um, and draw my parallels for these two, just so I can clean up this area before I keep moving. You are more than welcome to keep going along and then doing your parallels. Um, this just helps me kind of visualize what I have, um, what is the 3D shape starting to look like. Okay. So I'm going to line my ruler up to that part of the star. Slide it out a little ways. Draw that parallel line, keeping it in between these two converging lines, right? Because we need to draw a new parallel down here between these two. Now I'm flipping my ruler, pulling that up straight away to draw the parallel. I want to make a corner here, right? So stopping it where I made that first parallel, drawing it straight across. Now I have a corner here. And go ahead and get rid of these if you've made parallels. I'm going to keep going along here, checking um, the corners. Let's check kind of this lower armpit of our star. I'm going to line it up to my vanishing points and to the corner of my star here. You can see it cuts through, um, so it will be going underneath that part of our star. So I do not need to include it. Let's go down to this leg here of the star. This one does not cut through right, so I am going to include it. I'm going to go ahead and draw the parallel here. I want to try to keep them the same width that I've made the rest of my star. Um, if you keep things the same width, it will look like it goes together. It will kind of make it cohesive, feel unified. So I'm going to line up. Um, my ruler to this edge here that I want to draw that parallel with. I'm going to pull it out. And I can see where I made that top line of my star. 
they both line up pretty similarly. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. That way it's somewhat um, the same width here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that extra. Let's go ahead and check the bottom of our star here, lining it up. You can see it cuts through. It would be going underneath, right? So I don't need it. Going over to this other leg here, it cuts through. It's going to go underneath, so I also don't need it. The other armpit of my star, it would cut through, right? It would be going underneath our star, so I do not need it. And my other star arm here, it doesn't cut through at first, but then it hits the top part of our star. So we're going to see part of it, right? This part. Um, I'm not going to draw it past that because it's going underneath of this. And it's not, this section is not, um, the width is not thicker than that. So I'm not going to draw it back any further. I want it to match up with the width over here, right? Right now it looks pretty long. So I'm going to line my ruler up here. Pull it out until it hits kind of that area that I made my original parallel on uh, for the other arm. I'm going to go ahead and draw my parallel there. Pull it out. I have like a little bit of excess here. I'm gonna go ahead and just erase it. All right. So these are the simple shapes um, that we drew together in class. Hopefully most of it made sense here. Um, we're using our vanishing points on our horizon line to take two dimensional shapes um, and turn them into 3D forms by using converging lines, okay? This sheet here is the one um, that you took home or had to do by yourself. I'm going to do some of the harder ones here. Maybe I'll do all of them. We'll see. Um, we'll start with, let's go lightning bolt. Okay. So um, again, you want to go with a corner that is closest to our vanishing point. I'm going to start with this corner. Um, I feel like this one is the closest here. Line that ruler up to that vanishing point. Draw our converging line. And I'm just going to start working my way down uh, my lightning bolt here, drawing my converging lines. Okay. So I just keep lining it up with the corners. You can see if I line it up with this uh, corner that kind of divots in, it goes underneath like a little tiny section of the lightning bolt. So I'm not going to include that one. Keep going, same thing here. I line it up, goes under just a little bit, so I'm not gonna include that one. The weird thing about the lightning bolt here, um, when you start to draw your parallels, is that none of these spots connect, right? They all divot in. So when you draw your parallels, they're not going to connect. Each one is going to be at a different level. Um, so we're going to do our best to eyeball the width here. Let's start with this top one. I'm going to line it up to that straight edge of my lightning bolt. I'm going to pull it down a little ways and draw my parallel line. So I have a pretty small width here. I'm going to try to match that on the next one. So I'm going to line this guy back up. Pull it straight down. So I feel like it's somewhat the same width there. Draw that line. This one might be a little bit smaller, um, but not too bad. They're pretty similar, right? But you see here, um, they don't line up flush. What do I mean by flush? Um, I mean, our parallel for this one doesn't come all the way out here, right? It's a little bit further down because these are all at different um, heights. Okay. Go down to this last area here. Line it up to create that parallel. Gonna pull it out a little ways. Yeah, that might be too much. Bring it back in. And draw that parallel. Gonna erase those extra converging lines. 
just like so. You can check some of these back um, corners. This one doesn't cut through right, so I'm going to go ahead and include that. This one cuts through. I'm not going to keep it. This one does not. It's going to have like a little area. I'll line it up, draw it in. This corner cuts through. And this corner does not. I'm not going to go in and draw parallels for these. Um, if you did a really skinny width, so you stopped it like here, you could go in and draw your skinny parallels to these. Um, but my width is pretty big, so I'm not going to worry about it because um, I want it to match the width over here. But we could line it up, pull it out a little ways, um, and draw a parallel there. I am going to draw a parallel for over here, right? And this one I can create a corner on because I have a corner right here. And line that up, pull it straight out, and draw my parallel. So I've lined that corner up pretty well. So there is our lightning bolt. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the plus shape here. So same thing, start by lining up some of these closer corners to our vanishing point and drawing your converging lines. See which ones are going to show up versus which ones aren't. A lot of these outside ones are going to show up because they're not cutting underneath anything. I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing some parallels over here before I keep checking my corners back here, just so I can kind of get this cleaned up. So I'm gonna start making a width over here for this flat, um, big side of my plus. I'm gonna make it a pretty skinny width. I'm gonna match it over here. I'm going to do this bottom one first because I can create a corner here and then see where it should line up down here. So I'm going to line it up to that straight edge, pull it down until it hits that parallel I just made so I can create a corner. So now I have another corner I can make. I'll line my ruler back up, pull it out. There we go. Now you can go in and clean up some of these extra lines before we continue. Get rid of all that junk. I'm gonna continue checking corners over here. This one does not cross through, so I need it. This one does cross under, so I don't. This one does not. Oops, so I need it. This one does, so I don't need it. This one also does, so I don't need it. And this one also does, so I don't need it. I've already checked this one. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I have another corner I can make. So I'm going to line it up. It's a straight edge, so I can make it parallel. Pull it straight down. Stop it kind of where I made that other parallel. I'm going to erase that extra piece that I don't need. I could line this guy up. I think it's pretty close. I don't really need to. I could pull it down a little bit, but it's pretty close to being um, the same width as what I made over here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one. So there is our 3D um, plus shape. Let's go to the heart here. The heart is similar to the circle right. Um, we don't have all corners or all edges. I mean, yeah, corners here. We have edges that we can use, right, to line up to our vanishing points to create that outer shape since there's no corners. We do have a vertice somewhat here. Use that. And this bottom one goes under the heart, so I don't need it. 
This is a weird shape to try to mimic. Um, so just do your best. I know it's not perfect. Same thing over here. <clears throat> Trying to make that corner again. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Then go back in and erase any of those extras. You could also take out this line if you wanted to. I like having it in because we have our lines over here for this guy. Let's go over um, to this bow tie shape and get it on the screen here. Again, start with some of these closer corners going towards the vanishing point. Taking it in from those corners, lining it up to my vanishing points. Checking all of the corners here. The center one cuts through. Um, and I don't need to check the bottom because they touch here, right? So it's like I'm double checking. Going up to that other corner. Let's go down to this bottom one here. This one shows a little bit, include it. So now I need to draw my parallels in. I'm gonna start with this one over here. Lining my ruler up to that flat edge, pulling it out. Drawing that parallel line. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that extra junk. Any of the extra converging lines that I don't need. Let's go ahead and draw the parallel over here. I'll line it up. I'm gonna try to pull out a similar width to what I made over here. And then draw that parallel line. Erase my extra converging here. I'm gonna double check to make sure I don't see anything in the center. Nope. So this would come down and then we could draw another one up, but it's underneath that so we don't see it. Um, and then we need to draw a parallel to this one. It's going to be a pretty shallow parallel. So let's line it up. Pull it out. Stop it about there. There we go. Very weird shape. I know. Um, we could make this a little bit skinnier since it's below if we needed to. We'll make it a tiny bit skinnier. That way it doesn't feel so out of place. There we go. So there's our bow tie shape. Last we got um, is this wonky, I don't know what you want to call it, explosion shape. Lots of corners to check. The one thing you want to keep in mind um, on this one while you're lining up the corners, making your converging lines, um, is that you are making your parallels correctly. Okay, you want to pull it out as straight as possible from these areas. So I have three converging lines here. I'm going to go ahead and line my ruler up to this flat side. I'm going to pull it straight out beside my width here, drawing my parallel in between my two converging lines. I have a corner here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to match that up. So I'm lining my ruler up to the straight edge of my explosion here, pulling it straight out until I hit that other parallel line I've made, so that way it makes a corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and erase those extras converging lines just to get them out of the way. So this one does get a little bit confusing as you're matching up um, your corners here and creating your parallels. It might be easier to like make them as you go so that way you can line them up perfectly. Just make sure you're pulling your ruler straight out when you make those parallel lines. Pull it out, lining it up to that corner. Same thing down here, pulling it out, lining it up to that corner. This one goes under, I'm not gonna include it. Oops. Okay. 
the best thing you can do is just check your corners, even if you think something's going to show or not show. Um, rather be safe than sorry. Check that corner before maybe you mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and line this one up first, just because I want to make sure they're accurate together. Make my corner here. Pull this one out straight from there. Check this corner. Nope. I am going to see this one. I'm going to go ahead and draw the parallel to that. This type of shape where it has so many converging lines, um, it's better to keep them short. Don't draw them all the way back up to that vanishing point um, just to kind of keep it clean. And it's a little bit easier, um, maybe more helpful if you draw the parallel lines along the way. Just gives you a better idea of what it's starting to kind of look like, what it needs to look like, what's working, maybe what's not working, what you've done wrong or you've missed. You could go around um, and draw all of your parallel, or not parallels, converging lines first, and then come back in and do your parallels. Um, it's personal preference. I check this one, it's not down there, right? Pull it straight out. Check that one, I don't see it. Check this one, I don't see it. This one goes under. This one goes under, 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 whoa, under, next one's under, under. This one probably has a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and include it. So there we go. Um, our explosion shape here. Just make sure um, that you are checking your corners here. Um, draw your parallels as needed. If you feel like you need to take your converging lines all the way back, go ahead and do that. Um, if you feel comfortable enough to kind of stop them a little bit early, that's fine too. Please let me know um, if you have questions while you're working through this. If not, um, great. Okay.